Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us today on Anoki Daily Spotlight TV. And the foodie standing next to me is food expert Rick Matharu. Rick, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Now you really are a food expert because you won the challenge on the Food Network, the, yes. res the Recipe to Riches challenge. That's correct. For your butter chicken lasagna. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the butter chicken lasagna is quite unique because it really is a fusion. You've got Italian food and you've got Indian food. That's right. And it makes it more accessible for anybody who actually doesn't really like Indian food. Exactly. You yeah. know, that that's the whole concept of it. I just, I like to take everyday food and throw an Indian twist so people know what Indian food is if they've never tried it. Yes, and that's exactly why we're here with you today. Street food culture, be it New York, Toronto, or Mumbai, right. is just popular. People yes. love food at the corner of the road. That's right. But Indian street food culture is quite unique. Why do you think that is? You know what? It's just our, our food is full of flavor, spices, color, and you can do so much with our food. So we're going to be starting off with Pani Puri. Mm -hmm. And what Pani Puri is, is just a nice little hollow kind of Crispy balls. Carbs. And yeah, carbs. <laughs> Now what we're gonna do mm. is I'm gonna give you one here. Okay. And we're just gonna put Also it's time to eat, that's it. It's time to eat. You put some of your stuffing in here. Basically, bunny means you know you're throwing some water in there, some chili water, and puri just putting the whole thing in your mouth and eating it. So these are amazing street. When you go to India, you see these all over. Yeah. And people are just eating one by one by one. There's they're eating hundreds of them. This kid uh, friendly one is basically we've got uh, chopped up strawberries, blueberries and raspberries mm. in here with some almonds and chocolate mm. on the top. I'm a chocolate boy. And this beautiful uh, shot here is the um, milk from the rasmalai. So when you oh, have the rasmalai, wow. yeah, it's the the, the milk that's uh, that's kind of soaking Gosh. in the goodness. And cheers. Cheers to chocolate mm. and rasmalai. And rasmalai. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Rick. Tastes nice, doesn't that it? That is so good. So Rick, I'm so excited. We're heading into our second street food dish right out of Mumbai. Yes. What do you have for me here? We have a traditional street food called Chaat Papadi. And mm. what Chaat Papadi is, is these crispy little wafers and they're topped off with amazing goodness. Just like the Pani Puri, you have two very unique variations to the chaat papri plate. That's right. So yes. tell me about this, Rick. So Daniel, I really want you to try out this Mediterranean chaat papri that I have here. We've got tabbouleh, we've got falafels, mm -hmm. and I've made a garlic yogurt mint sauce oh, to wow. top it off. So it's got that fusion flavor, the Indian and the Mediterranean twist on there. So for those of you watching who want to be neat and dainty, this isn't for you. This is, if yes. you want to get down and dirty, this is the kind of food you want That's to eat. That's how we do it. Mmm. Mmm. So over here we have some property nachos. Nachos? Nachos, Now yes. that is a twist I like. It is. So we take the properties that we have here and you know they're they're perfect for nachos. You can use these yeah. for dipping, scooping, but over here I placed some red cabbage, mm -hmm. some lemon chicken, mm -hmm. and we've got some hoisin sauce on top and green onions. Mm -hmm. What do you think? They're good? You know what? That 
is so delicious. Well, Rick, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you. And I'm so happy that you've been able to give us such unique variations to some South Asian street staples. So whether it's the kids in the family or somebody who doesn't really like anything spicy, there is something for everyone here. There's something for everyone and you can have fun with it. Exactly. And I think that's the most important part. Exactly. So if any of our viewers want to check out more of your recipes and fun foodie things, where can they go? Yeah, you can uh, definitely check me out at www.ricksgoodeats.com. And for those of you who want to check out our show, you can catch us on anokimedia.com and our YouTube channel. And just like Rick mentioned, please share your recipes with us on Facebook and Twitter. Bon appetit! Ha 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 ha!